Yo, 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 what is going on guys? It is your boy Optic Scumpy. This is going to be hard to stabilize throughout the whole video, so it might be a little bit shaky. I do apologize. But tomorrow is Mother's Day. It is Saturday, and I did hint that I was going to be posting a special video for tomorrow. This is the special video. You guys really haven't had the opportunity to meet my mom or mom of Scump. So here she is. She's going to be driving, so I'm not really going to be able, she's not going to be able to look at the camera too much. But I just want to ask her some questions, questions that you guys would probably want to hear. Um, I've been getting this a lot, like, can you ask your mom questions? What does she think of you in competitive gaming? Was she supportive from the start? You know, just a bunch of things like that. So we're on our way to our uncle and aunt's house, my uncle and aunt's, my uncle and aunt's house, and uh, is Jordan going to be there? And my brother's going to be there. I haven't seen him in a while. So let's get right into the questions. This is probably the one that a lot of you guys wanted to know the most, and it is, um, how did you or why did you allow me to initially start competing at tournaments and traveling around the world and such? Well, I didn't want you to do it at first um, because you didn't do a very good job explaining it. And when kids tweet me and say, how can I convince my parents to let me play video games? I say, explain it the best that you can. Don't say that some guy from the subway wants to send me halfway across the country for free to play video games, which is what Seth said. Uh, which really it was true. Yeah, it's true. It's what it was. You know, he, he didn't own subways, I don't think. But anyway, um, I really have to say thank you to the Hamway family uh, because without love them, you, Bob. Love you, Bob. Love you, Hamways. Because without them, Seth probably wouldn't be doing what he's doing. Um, she, Bob's mom, Melissa, talked me into letting Seth go to MLG Dallas, which was his first major competition and he was on leverage at the time and they won. So kind of convinced me that maybe this was a, a good thing for him to do. All right, so that sort of segues into the next question that I wanted to ask. Um, and I don't know what these questions are, by the way, so he's hitting me up with the questions. I yeah, I'm just hitting her. She has no idea. I'm just, no idea. They, these are the raw answers. These are the facts. But that, that does segue nice in the next question. It is was It was, how would you tell my viewers how to convince their parents if they want to go to tournaments and their parents aren't as receptive to it as you were. Yeah, well, I wasn't receptive to well, it. Well, I know, Because but I actually hid your Xbox because... She hid my Xbox. I did. I hid the Xbox before MLG Dallas. Um, so, anyway, I think the best way when kids tweet me, and that's kind of the reason I'm on Twitter. I was on Twitter at first to keep an eye on what Seth was doing because he was 15 when he got on Twitter. I was on the road. And, I ain't trying um, to die. I don't know. And, um... I like to send kids videos that there are a couple good, uh, great videographers out there. Um, Oz, and um, his Twitter is... No, don't say Twitter. Oh, uh, okay. And Zach Sheldon. They do great videos of MLG events, and they're amazing. The crowds are cheering. Um, there are um, a lot of people there. This is it's, coming from a mother's perspective, so you guys can just show this video to your moms or dads, that's, that's whatever it is. Too. It, it's not what parents think it is. They're they're huge, very professional events. So um, I like to send people videos. So if you tweet me, um, I can tweet out these guys, um, or maybe Seth can put it in the description um, what their tweeters are because they, I think that's the best way to show parents what uh, uh, competitive gaming is all about. All right. So this is another question. What did you think of me spending? eight to ten hours during school nights up in my room playing making videos just doing all that stuff just working basically what what, what my work is now yeah you do work I think you, you do work hard and what did I think of it at first um, we stopped playing baseball you stopped playing football you were a very good athlete and um, it was kind of hard for me to understand because the family's athletic not really me but I didn't understand why you wanted to commit all your time to playing video games. So I actually took Seth to the doctor because I thought there was something wrong with him. That she, he thought was, to, she thought I was crazy. Yeah, that he just wanted to drop out of everything that I perceived to be normal. Um, and that, you know, was definitely an error on my part. That's close, really close to my face, Seth. Um, so I was a little worried about him. And uh, I didn't understand what he was trying to accomplish again because he didn't really explain it to me and he had done a, he did a TV interview about a year and a half ago and said I wanted to be the best and that's what I was working towards and I didn't know that this world existed I didn't know he was playing game battles with his high school friends and then he was playing game battles with people he was meeting online so again it goes back to explaining it to your parents because video games get a bad rap okay 
So, she's saying basically, explain to your parents by giving them visuals. Don't just try to explain it because doing that is just absolutely, it's not going to work very well for you. I can guarantee you that. But that sort of, uh, again, leads right into my next question. Oh, fuck. I forgot my other question. Sorry. Okay, I can't believe you just said that in front of me. Shut up. Um, I'm going to redo that. I don't condone the language, by the way. She doesn't care. She's just being a mom on camera. Um, what was my next question? I don't remember that question, so we're just going to do a different one. What do you think, if I remember it, it'll come back to me, uh, and I'll ask it next, but what do you think of all of this now? Like, how do you, how, did you envision it ever turning out into what it has turned into? Of course I have, I didn't, because I think it's still becoming what it, what it's all about, um, because esports is just growing and growing and growing. Um, did I think that we'd be sitting in the car on the way to Mother's Day dinner making a video log? No. Did I even know what a video log was? No. Did I know what Twitter was? No. I mean, think of all the thousands of people that you've met that, you know, I've met so many people worldwide um, thanks to what you're doing. It's it's worldwide exposure. God, so, these bumps are killing me. I know, I'm sorry. It's not cute, but... So, no, I, I didn't envision, and, and kids say, I, I want to be like the guys on Optic. I want to be a pro gamer. How can I How can I be that? And you're just a normal kid that wanted to aspire to that, too. And I don't know if you had anybody that you looked up to, like kids do today because it's grown so much in the short amount of time that you've been doing it but uh, no I think it's been an amazing and I'm very proud of, of your accomplishments and uh, everybody's accomplishments that have stuck with it all these years all right so I'm gonna ask her one more question here what or where do you think I would be or what would I be doing right now if it weren't for you know Call of Duty and YouTube and streaming on MLG just where do you think I would be right now well, and do you think I would be as happy um, well, I think you're a pretty happy kid so I think you'd be happy doing whatever it was you were doing um, I do read your Twitter your tweets even though you don't like me to and I saw the other day you say something about you know you'd be in college and people tweet me that and say aren't you worried that Seth is not in college um, you know, there's an amazing opportunity um, that Seth had in front of him, and he, he graduated from high school a year ago. And to think of, like I said, all the people he's met, the uh, amazing things that he's been able to do, the travel, uh, you know, college is great. College isn't for all people. I'm not saying that he'll never go. Um, but I'm really happy that Seth's happy doing what he's doing. I don't understand how he can be as committed to a video game um, and spend so much time, but I hear him when I go to take him food um, because he's in another part of the house. I don't hear him at all. People treat me that too. Like, don't you hear him raging? Oh, yeah. And can you tell them I can move I, out if I wanted? You're the one that convinces me to stay. Can you just say that? Oh, yeah. You don't, yeah. I want to move out. She won't let me. Oh, well, yeah. You can move out if you want to. No. Right? You're 18, you know? People, I think people forget that, you know, that I heard them uh, introduce Embo's at Call of Duty Champs and they were like, and he's only 18. And I'm like, so sad. I think people forget that you're, you know, you're just 18. You just graduated from high school a year ago. So, just a little baby. Yeah. I think you'd be in college. Um, I know you were going to a Penn State campus. I think you'd be having a great time with your friends. Um, but I'm happy that you're doing what you're doing now and uh, that you really enjoy it. All right, guys. So there you have it for Mom Scump herself. Yeah, one more thing. What? For all you guys and gals out there watching this, don't forget your moms tomorrow. It's Mother's Day. and That's why we're doing this video. I know. But, everybody, but I just want to remind people because I saw somebody tweet to you and say, oh my gosh, thank you. I forgot it was Mother's Day. Don't forget it's Mother's Day. Wish your mom a happy Mother's Day because whether you realize it or not, they all do a lot for you every day. All right. So now that we're going to wrap up the video here, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you want more videos like this, uh, I'm going to a family gathering now probably won't do a video there. I don't want to stick my camera in my grandparents and uncle and aunt's faces, but we'll see what we can do. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, like, favor, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. It'll be down in the description below. And as always, guys, this is your boy Optic Scumpy. Uh, sleep.